So when you're getting started with mobile home investing, there's some hidden costs you need to know about because somebody has to pay for them. Yeah, we don't want these costs to be unexpected for you. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the six hidden costs no one talks about, stay tuned. And for the best mobile home investing advice, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell, and be notified when we post new videos every week. So when we first started in mobile home investing, we actually started paying these costs ourselves. No one really talked about them. We didn't see a ton of information about this in books or even on YouTube. Yeah, so we were ending up paying all these costs and over the years we've learned how to avoid them and pass them on to our clients. And we want you to be able to have these same tricks in your tool belt. is closing costs and with mobile homes this is actually pretty simple it's just transferring the title over into the new owner's name and this can be done at any MVD or third-party MVD in Arizona this is about seven dollars per title at the regular MVD and it can go up to about twenty five dollars per title at the third party so super cheap nothing major but we just wanted to make sure you're aware of it yeah you can add these costs to your closing costs and have your buyer pay for them but because they're so inexpensive we usually come out of pocket and pay for them ourselves. Number two is property taxes. Now, depending on how you structure your deal, either you or your seller should be paying for those property taxes. It's really, really easy. What we do here in Phoenix is go right down to the county treasurer and get it paid for and it's really really simple and quick yeah and most of the time the property taxes are no more than three hundred dollars for the entire year so it's not a ton of money um, and you can prorate them based on who was occupying the home during the time that the tax was assessed so there's a lot of ways to do it it's not a lot of money but it's something that you should know about So cost number three is car maintenance and fuel. And trust me, you will be using your car quite a bit in this business. And so we usually account for this as a weekly expense. We like to put this aside at least $40 to $50 a week for gas um, because you're gonna need your car, you're gonna need to drive to your inspections, you're gonna need to drive to your closings, to the MVD, all of that costs money. Yeah, and in the beginning, you'll be driving a lot yourself. Until you can get this position outsourced, just know you're gonna have to do what you have to do to get <laughs> the deal secure so take notice of this one and cost number four is learning now you're gonna have to learn how to do this and you have a couple choices here you can either piece things together that you find in books or on YouTube or you can actually go and find a mentor or coach to help you give you that blueprint and get you started now either way you go about this let's just say you choose not to use a coach you're going to most likely learn from the school of hard knocks later on because there's going to be those opportunity costs that you miss or just those costs that you learn from some of those failures and mistakes that you're going to go through yeah so we like to say put at least 500 dollars to the side to learn to get the knowledge whether that's through a course whether that's working with another mentor whatever you need to do find someone that's already successful follow their blueprint and pay for their knowledge Cost number five is utilities, and even if you negotiate free lot rent, utilities are something you're still going to be responsible for. So you're going to want to make sure you understand where the utilities are coming from. Is the park metering them? Are you going to have to start a new service with a utility company? This is something that it's not usually a ton of money, but getting the electric turned on, getting the water, sewer trash, all that stuff is what you're responsible for. Yeah, and take notice, especially with uh, different utility companies in your county. Some of them will make you pay a deposit just to start service. We found that this deposit can be weighed uh, with certain requirements like uh, credit score or you've worked with this utility company in the past. So be sure to check for that, but just be aware of that security deposit just to start the service. And last but not least is number six, 
dealer's license. Now, depending on the state you're in, you're going to spend anywhere from $500 all the way up to $1,000 in obtaining this license. Yeah, and it, again, it depends on your state. So you wanna make sure you understand your regulations. Some states allow you to do a couple deals before you get licensed. I've even heard of other investors using their family members' names to do a couple of deals before they get licensed, but it's something that you should be aware of. We're licensed dealers in our state, and we definitely highly recommend that as well. So now you know some of the hidden costs that you need to know about whenever you're looking to do a mobile home investment, but this doesn't mean much if you don't know how to find your next deal. That's why we created Trailer Cash for Beginners Checklist. In this free checklist, you'll learn the exact step-by-step -step process we took to complete over 200 transactions in mobile home deals in two and a half years. You can download this free checklist at the link below this video or by going to trailercashchecklist.com. If you want to join a community of trailer flippers just like you, we've started a Facebook community. We share all types of tips and tricks, wins and losses, we share it all in that group. Please join, introduce yourself, and say hello. And if this video was helpful, be sure to share your feedback in the comment section below and hit the subscribe button and that bell button to be notified of videos we post every week. Thanks so much for watching guys, bye!